Our two gentlemen turned their mics off oh, while they were here. Oh, they're professionals. They are professionals. <laughs> yeah, okay. All right, everybody. So, uh, who's ready for our next The Walking Dead guest? Woo! Does anybody remember a certain character named Enid? She's Everyone. fond of, fond of turtle me, I believe. Oh, yeah. JSS. Yes. Everyone, please welcome to the stage our little area over here, Kaylin Nakin. Get to kick my legs. How's it going? Good, good. I feel like I'm on vacation. This is fantastic. Yes. I'm like at a five-star resort. I love it. This place is amazing. I gotta say that for mm -hmm. for this type of event and this setup. Yeah. I mean, people watching while they're swimming. Yeah, it's perfect. Yeah. It's, uh, you couldn't ask for something better. Yeah. yeah. No, I'm about to come out here and watch all the panels. Yeah. Just you're, go for a swim. Yeah. Yeah. You're glad you're here today, not yesterday, because there's a little breeze and a little cloud yesterday. It's not Solid sun yeah. and burning. Good up. weather follows me everywhere. <laughs> Good. <laughs> so what's uh, what, what's going on? How are how are things going? Good. Good. Um, moved into a new apartment. Love it. Uh, that's been really nice. I uh, was just able to work in the fall on a new film, so that's very exciting. And that's you, you can talk about that. Right? Yes. Yes. It's called Where All Light Tends to Go. Um, it's starring Billy Bob Thornton, Hopper Penn, and Robin Wright. Um, so that was mind-blowing. Um, and then Ben Young, the director, was absolutely fantastic. He was amazing to work with. So it was just a really beautiful experience. And it was filmed um, in Georgia, uh, around around Canton. Like, um, I can't remember the exact towns that we filmed in, but it was really nice. I got to stay with my parents. Um, nice. So my mom would help me out with laundry while I was out working. <laughs> Free meals. I was I was really living cheap. <laughs> I loved yeah. it. Yeah. And what? Tell us a little bit about the movie. Yeah. So um, without spoiling yeah. anything, it's, it, it's like a almost like a coming of age kind of crime um, drama in a way. It's basically, it's about this young man who grows up with a father who's in the drug business mm -hmm. and is trying to get out of it and. A lot of crap goes down, <laughs> so and he gets. It's really hard for him to get out. So, all right, that's basically it. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm excited about linoleum. Tell us about that. Linoleum. Oh my goodness, <laughs> that um also just an amazing experience. The content of that movie just hit right mm -hmm. at home. I was ugly crying when I read that script. <laughs> By the end of it, I was just like, oh, oh my god, this is so good. <laughs> um, but it's really, really beautiful. That one, I it's very hard for me to explain without <laughs> yeah. spoiling anything. There's a big twist and everything. Um, but that one's with uh, Jim Caffigan, Ray Seahorn, um, Gabriel Rush, all very, very talented people. Um, but yeah, that filmed in New York. Great experience. It's hopefully gonna come out by the end of the year. Mm -hmm. That's what I've heard. It's it, been bought. In. It premiered at South by Southwest. Yes, and yes. It won some award already too, like the San Francisco something. Or yeah, I, I forget which yeah. one. It, 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 it I was. I mean, it's been well received already. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. yeah. Everyone seemed to really, really like it, and it was it was such an amazing experience to sit in a theater <laughs> with other people who have never seen it and to you know get their reactions in live time, especially with the character that. You know, it's different from what I've mm -hmm. played before. Yeah. Um, and you play, so it was you nice play to, Jim, Jim's daughter, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. So it's like a family. But I know, like it was like a sci-fi thing, but then it's also very rooted in a family. Yeah, so. it has. So it's, it's like, basically, you follow this man who wants to be. He's an aspiring astronaut, mm -hmm. uh, but right now he basically has this. Bill Nye, the science guy, mm -hmm. late time kids show, yeah, comes yeah. out at 12 a.m. so no one watches it, yeah. um, really struggling, and then all these weird, strange events start happening, and it mm -hmm. just feels very disorientated, and you're trying to just figure out yeah. what in the world is going on, um, and then once you realize, it's beautiful. Oh, yeah. It's so, so, I, so yeah, good. Yeah, it just sounds really, really good. Yeah. I was so excited when I read about it, and I saw you were in it, I was so excited. Yeah, it... it it came out really well. I, yeah. I was very, very proud of it. Um, beautiful movie. Good, um, good. So happy that it's getting the recognition it yeah. deserves. Good. Yeah. And then Southern Gospel? Yes, yes, Southern Gospel. So I filmed that right before Linoleum. Mm -hmm. It was pretty crazy because <laughs> COVID was happening and I hadn't worked since COVID started. And then I booked Southern Gospel in Georgia. 
And then I had five days in between that and then went to linoleum in New York. And I was like, oh, there's a pandemic. What am I doing? Um, yeah, but I, I was very lucky in order to even work in the pandemic. Um, but yeah, it was pretty crazy. Southern Gospel was also an amazing experience. Um, it's based off of a true story about uh, the director and the writer, his parents. Mm -hmm. So I basically played his mom, oh, wow. which is yeah. kind of weird to say. Um, <laughs> But I got to meet her too, and she was the sweetest woman. Um, and it's basically about this man who was in this rock band and his story of finding his way back to church and, you know, not only finding his way back, but like reinventing mm -hmm. his beliefs and everything. Um, so it's a very, very beautiful story, very heartwarming. It was great, great experience um, to be a part of. I wore a blonde wig. Oh, that was cool. Okay. Um, never been blonde before. Yeah, they also right. put. Uh, a pregnant belly or oh, something wow. like that, and I was like, oh, this is, I don't like this part. <laughs> Not ready for this. Yeah, yeah. I was. I sent a video, I think, to my friend, and she was like, "Don't do that. That creeps me out." <laughs> you are light years ahead yeah. right now. Yeah, right? yeah, exactly. Yeah, for sure. But yeah, that was also yeah. filmed here in Georgia, and yeah. it was. I, it's funny, I, I moved to L.A. and my parents were like, you know, as soon as you move to L.A., you're yeah. going to get a job right back here. And it was the <laughs> second job I booked once yeah. I went to L.A. Uh, what isn't Georgia doing? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, everything. Well, Georgia's fantastic. Yeah. yeah. But a lot, you know, a lot of states do offer those incentives, the tax yeah. breaks, but they're starting to pull back on this. Like Texas is starting to pull yes. back on them. That's why they're moving to Georgia. Now. Yes. Yeah. So. And we'll take them. <laughs> yeah. I love it. More and more should, everything yeah. should film in Georgia. Yes. Then I get yes. to come back home. Yeah. And I there love you that. Go. Yeah. 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 So you're, you're in LA right now? Like that's. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, I've been there for uh, around three or four years. Mm -hmm. uh, I moved there maybe like a year before the pandemic hit. Okay. Um, so I had one good year out there. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, I, I've been out there. Um, I actually, I room with um, Madison Lintz, who oh, played okay. Sophia. Oh, yeah, very yeah cool. we, um, She happened to be looking for an apartment at the same time and we knew each other through conventions and we ended up well, I saw rooming you, together. You attended the Bosch the, heard the, yes, the premiere. The I saw Bosch premiere. Yes. She did so well. I was so happy for her. I was so proud of her. Um, yeah, you guys looked amazing. Yeah. She, oh, she's gorgeous. Yeah, we both um, are. <laughs> oh, thank you. Um, but yeah, we've we've been living together the whole time. Oh, it's, fun. She's she's a great roommate. Mm -hmm. So she's so talented. It's it's nice. I get I get to it gets to rub <laughs> off on me. <laughs> yeah. Well, good. So let's let's go to the show. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, your departure, mm -hmm. all right. How, how was that? <laughs> what a fantastic time! I, yeah, well, <laughs> you're gonna end in the Walking so, Dead. That's I know. Good. I get I get flashbacks. Yes. So they were yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Well, I was I was gonna point <laughs> well, to them. Yes. Um, but I mean, those last days for you. Mm. How was that for you? Knowing like after the amount of time you've been there. I mean, it it was hard. Obviously, I, I got on the show when I was 15, um, and that was like. I had done like little student films and stuff like that here and there. <laughs> little beetle, you wanted to hang out. Um, but that was like my first really big job. Um, I learned so much when it comes to acting and just working on set. Um, and I have uh, so many things to thank that show for. Um, but yeah, so it was, it was sad. You, you spend four or five years getting to know all these people and then you're like, wow, I'm, I don't get to come in and work with you guys anymore and see you guys. So um, it was a pretty intense last day. The I think it was like a 4 a.m. call time. I was like the first scene up and the last scene up. So I came in at 4 a.m., did zombie makeup, <laughs> sat with a little green screen thing over my chest and just <laughs> pretended I was a zombie. Um, and then redid my makeup for the fight sequence. That was, that was at the end of the day at night. And so me and the cast members, we just played heads up all day, <laughs> waiting yeah. to basically be killed. Um, but yeah, and then the fight sequence was at night and it, it, was, it was pretty cool and it, it was really sweet. A lot of the cast members came for our, our last scene um, ever on the show and got to all say our, our goodbyes and everything and it, it was really sweet. I cried, obviously. Yeah, sure. um, I tried not to. I was like, hi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it was, it was a really great really great time and I got a free decapitated head out of it so sweet oh that's yours yep yeah. yep parting Greg, gift I, I remember Alana and I were there and Alana goes so Greg um 
Greg Nicotero, who's yeah. director, and he does all the special effects. Um, he's like, um, Alana goes, can I, can I, how do I get one of these heads? And he's like, you want a head? And I was like, I want my head, are you kidding me? And he's like, yeah, sure, I can get you one. And I was like, what? <laughs> yeah, now I have a decapitated head. My dad, for Halloween, he, um, he got a broomstick and just pops the head on the broomstick and answered the door, only to the older children. Yes, yes. <laughs> but uh, there was, I think, maybe one was a little too young and who's kind of like, oh, <laughs> what is going on? Yeah, so my dad loves that. Oh, yeah, that's pretty awesome. <laughs> yeah. So is, that, is that where the head stays? With yes, dad? stays in Georgia. Oh. I'm too scared to travel with it to yeah. L.A. Yeah. So. Yeah. And my dad TSA. seems to get a lot of use out of it. Yeah. So. Yeah. And TSA man, a few questions. Yes. Well, we were yes. wondering that. These, with all these people, yeah, are they, yeah. do they all drive here? Or were some of these I things know. through TSA? You know, how that you they question? must have been so terrified. <laughs> um, they would have been like, they, I, I, I can't imagine what they would have thought of just yeah. seeing and heads know, in a suitcase. Well, I know a lot of them put them in their cars because we saw pictures. And I know one year when we came down, we had Michael Myers in the backseat of our car. Oh, that's we had Michael Myers on our balcony. See, then so, you can take the commuter lane. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that works out perfect. <laughs> yep. That's probably why they brought so many heads. Yeah. Like, I can do whatever I want. Yes. <laughs> uh, and so, and then go to the beginning where you're brought and introduced. Right. And you're eating what seems to be a, a, turtle. a turtle. Yes. What exactly was that prop, though? Yes, so I remember that scene was coming out. First of all, I was so excited because I had been on the show for like, I think that was maybe like my third or fourth episode. And I was, I was like the thing before the title sequence. I was like, oh my God, <laughs> I was like, this is a big deal. Yeah, right. And then I saw the eating the turtle and I was like, oh no. As a 15 year old who's an extremely picky eater, I was like, this is bad. This is going to be real, real bad. Right. And so they were like, hey, so, I think they emailed my dad or something. They were like, hey, so uh, for the turtle eating thing, is she cool with tuna? Is tuna good? And I was like, no. Can you fill it with chicken nuggets? Yeah, I was, like, I was like, no, I can't do tuna. I was like, it's going to look disgusting, and I'm going to be eating fish he stuff. I can't do that. So we ended up with chicken wings. Um, so we had chicken wings, and they put it in edible blood. The problem was the edible blood was mint flavored. So I was eating watery mint-ish chicken, and it was one of the nasty. It was pretty nasty. Yeah. It was really nasty, and it looks disgusting. So I was trying to make it look like I was taking big bites, but I was really taking like <laughs> that much off of it. But I was making everyone sick. Mm -hmm. um, I know there, there was a camera operator who said, "I just can I just like take a second? Yeah. <laughs> He's like, "I think I'm gonna throw up." That well, legit looked like well, a real thing. What, what we saw looked. Yeah, you did a good job. Oh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> I, I was trying. I was trying not to vomit myself. So. Yes. I was just too excited to do yeah, before the title yeah. sequence. I didn't care. I was like, I'll do whatever. Yeah, yeah. I got to meet the turtle too. He was really cool. Yeah. He was super fast. <laughs> it was funny. And they were like, because there's the one shot where I see him walking across the yeah. screen. And like for the first five, he was. Just... <laughs> they were like, oh, we need him to go yeah. slower. Yeah. He was a cutie. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I've heard stories where some of the things that... Also, it wasn't an actual turtle right. shell, oh, yeah. right. yeah. by the way. Yeah. Oh, okay. It was a fake turtle yeah. shell. Okay. No turtles <laughs> no. were harmed. <laughs> right. You, have to, put, you always have to put this yes, around Yeah, there. yeah. Someone on YouTube is going to be like, wait, that was a real turtle. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. They're going to be like, yeah. you met the turtle yeah. and then ate it? Yeah. 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 Well, Norman, no. Norman Reedus had to put that disclosure out with the worm seat where he had the, the earthworms, and he was doing that, but PETA was on there, they were watching, and yeah. none were harmed or eaten. Worm? He, the one, the one that was... No, but I mean, really? Yeah, no, they, yep, absolutely, earthworms. Yeah. He, he was day. excited to eat them. He had shared what he said. I would have eaten them. He would. And he was excited about them. Let him, so. Oh, yeah, I get that. They don't want yeah, to. And, and, yeah, it's better I, safe I, than sorry. Exactly. Yeah, yeah I mean, I've. I've We've talked to people where, you know, the walkers, the you know, we've actually, some of the creature actors where they're, you know, they'll tell you, like, what were you biting into yeah. there? You're like, oh, well, actually, that was pulled pork. And yeah. It's like, oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's that's right. pork. That's that's, bad. You know. No, I remember when, um, when my parents got killed, um, I had to look out at the walker eating the carcass, and it was pretty nasty because he's, like, actually yeah. digging in there and <laughs> pulling stuff out and shoving it in his face. And I'm like, wow, that's, <laughs> that's intense. And I'm over here like... <laughs> my parents yeah mommy, very intense mommy. yeah 
Yeah, I mean, that, yeah, I don't know. Uh, we throw those scenarios like, you know, if you were to wake up one morning and this is what the world's turned <laughs> into, you know. I've, my <laughs> room. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> Ryan's with you. My main thing is like, I, I know you've been in this world for so long, but just the constant, like, does anyone ever really realize what the air around you is going to smell like 100% of the time? Like, oh my God, like, I mean, there's just carcasses everywhere. Yeah. Like, like, you're never going to be anywhere where it smells good. No. The death around you. It also never did smell good because everyone was sweating their yeah. on set. Like, I mean, episodes where, like, or while you're filming a lot of people have talked you know spoke about how they came close to like heat stroke oh yeah there's um chandler i know he almost passed out um and then uh who was it i think it was um uh gabriel seth um he for one of his scenes he was like supposed to be rushing in somewhere after running everywhere so he would do <laughs> laps around the trailer and then go into the scene and he passed out wow yeah so they, it, heat stroke was a definite possibility. The problem too was for a lot of the walkers because they're just in layers and layers of yeah. clothes. Because if it's long sleeve, you don't have to do the makeup for their whole arm. Um, and like the masks and everything. Yeah. So it's, you know, just constant reminders like drink your water, try to stay out of the sun when you can. Um, but yeah, heat stroke was a possibility. I never got it, thank God, because I'm the person who's like, okay, we're, we're done. Okay, shade. <laughs> I'll be inside with a fan. Thank you. Yeah. yeah was it, is it Ezekiel? Um, he, he has like a cooling suit that he wore like under his, like his hair, everything yeah. had like oh, a cooling, I'm like sure. a cool water running yeah. through it. Well, they do something with, they do something with um, like vents, like hoses they put up underneath the things. I know mm -hmm. Jerry, I think we see pictures like with, you know, Cooper and him and they had like vent, a venting system up underneath yeah. things to yeah. push that cool You air. have to. Oh, I, they imagine. wouldn't, they wouldn't be able to make no. it throughout the whole day. I mean, you're shooting like 12 hour days. Mm -hmm. 12, 14 hour days in those suits, yeah. fully covered in 90 degree weather. It's not good. No, there was, I think there was one time where I had one episode and I was roller skating and rolling up and riding a bike and climbing a wall all in one episode. And I, they put me in like jeans, high socks, high boots, t-shirt, flannel, jacket, backpack. And I was like, can I have one less clothing item, please? Um, and then later on, we eventually pared down to like really loose, thin clothing. And I was like, this is much better. Yeah, I never understood the concept of like such heavy mm -hmm. clothing. I mean, yeah, I, 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 I don't know. I mean, I guess if you think about it, if you're like on the road, just going, then you would want as many layers, layers as yeah. you could take but on would, and off, but you would take them on and off. Sure. And I had a huge backpack, so like, yeah. why didn't I stuff one <laughs> into the backpack if the other character's wearing a t-shirt? Yeah. I shouldn't be wearing three layers. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there was always a weird... Good, but it looks cute. Yeah. That's why. Yeah. And a memorable, you know, I think also a lot of things with like costume design is you want it to be memorable and be it, like, it fits this character, you know? Yeah. yeah. Well, that's good. So we're very happy that you're active, though, in your acting yeah. career. I mean, that... I am, too. <laughs> yeah. I mean, very happy. Yeah. It's, it's been tough for everybody, you know, but to be able to be able to produce what you're putting out in movie-wise, you know, in the next coming, in this coming year and everything else. So, I mean, you have, you actually have stuff you can't talk about yeah. as far as projects going on. So that's exciting, though. I mean. I, I'm very lucky. I, it's, the pandemic slowed down the industry a lot. Yeah. Um, and so... If you weren't like an A-list, you weren't really getting many auditions. Um, so the fact that I was able to work as much as I did, I'm very lucky, very happy. that, it, And also on projects that are so amazing right. and that I loved being a part of. Um, just unfathomable. Yeah. So great. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I mean, even like on a smaller scale for us, it sucked for us. We would, Everything shut down and we got nothing to talk about. Yeah. So we were just kind of like, <laughs> yeah. well, you know. Right. People aren't going to tune in and just listen to us. Yeah, yeah. it affected everyone. Yeah. It, it, no matter like what line of work or walk of life you were in, it, it affected everyone yeah. in some way. Yeah. It didn't affect Amazon. They were very busy. No, um, <laughs> it, we no, it did bored. affect yeah. them, but in a really good way. In a really great way. Yeah. 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 Other yeah. way. First name basis. <laughs> yeah. Yep. How are you doing, Jerry? Love Dina. <laughs> Her name is Linda, and hopefully she'll see this eventually. And she, Linda oh lives God. in France. Yeah. <gasps> oh yeah. my God. Yeah. Long I've been, time follower of us. And uh, she's a big fan of yours. I've always wanted to go to France. Well, Linda, <laughs> next time I'm, I'm in France, if I don't see your butt there, I'm going to be pissed. <laughs> see you there.
we're lucky one year, as we continue this camp, we'll be able to do for like Linda, like we were able to do for Lucy, to raise funds to get them here. Oh so, my God, that's yeah. amazing. Oh yeah, like, it was, like this family yeah. is beyond unbelievable. We were able to raise funds to fly Lucy here, pay for her stay, wow. get like, you know, everything. And, that is so um, amazing. Yeah. And flights are so expensive yeah, now yeah. too. Yeah, we got a little worried because Virgin Airlines wanted to uh, put yeah. a little 24-hour stipulation in her COVID test, but... <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. God. So she was, I mean, she had never, she's never been to the U.S., she's never flown. Yeah. Wow. And, and so, yeah, and she's here with us. Wow, yeah. that's amazing. Yeah. So this family made it happen. We're going to make it happen for someone else next yes. year, too. Yes, <laughs> yes, I love that. That yes. is fantastic. Well, thank you for being here. Oh. No, thank you, you for having me. Appreciate have it. Have a great time. Guys, what do yes. we say? Woo! Caitlin? Yes, thank you, Caitlin. Go, go visit her at her table. Yes. 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 Go to her table. Go and go see eyes. her new stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you so much.